welcome back everybody to another video and in today's video I'm getting the Platinum Trophy in Killer Frequency. Terribly. Wonderful! Yeah. This was my first time playing Killer Frequency. I tried to do a series on it a while back but I didn't end up continuing it. So I thought why not get back into the game but this time I wanted to get the Platinum Trophy and uh, it went pretty well, I think. Shut the fuck up Peggy, I need a moment, a dog just died, okay? Yeah, I think it went pretty well. But anyway, if you guys do enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and also consider subscribing because your support means the absolute world to me. I'll link my Twitter and my Instagram down in the description below where I post teasers to my next video before it comes out if you're interested in checking those out. Without further ado, sit back, relax, grab your snacks and enjoy the video. First thing that I did was complete the tutorial because I hadn't played the game in six months, a little bit over six months and there was absolutely no way that I was gonna remember what the heck I was doing. What, the, what kind of throw was that? I think I actually said that the first time, like, you throw like a fucking girl, holy crap. And then after that, I went on to the actual game where I could start trying to get the trophies. Now in this game, you get a trophy for every person that you save. So like 50% of the trophies were just saving people. So pretty much all I had to do was keep everybody alive. Shouldn't be that hard, right? Okay, so these are the trophies that I've got. I've only obtained three trophies in this game um, from the first episode that I did of this video, of this game, my bad. So I've only got three, and there is 28 trophies to this game. Oh gosh, this is probably the most trophies that I'm going to have to get in one video. Usually I have quite a few before I do a video on it. So we've got the obvious ones, because you can get people killed in this game depending on what choices you make. The obvious trophies are save all Whistling Man targets and nobody survives the Whistling Man. <laughs> Reach the end of Whistling Night. I don't know what that is, but it might, it might just be like the end of the game. I think, maybe. Yeah, because it says the trophy's called the end question mark, so so yeah, that might be the end of the game. So that one's just easy, just complete the game. Maurice Russell survived the Whistling Man. Virginia Sullivan survived the Whistling Man. Eugene Stein survived the Whistling Man. Murphy survived the Whistling Man. All teams, all teens except Jimmy. Poor Jimmy survived the Whistling Man. Chuck Brody survived the Whistling Man. Okay, so there's a trophy for each person surviving as well. So either way, we're gonna get a trophy if we if we save someone. Okay, another one, uncover Clive's research. I don't know if that's admissible or not, um, but we'll see. I might have to look a couple of these up, but it's fine. We'll see what I can get in my first playthrough. In my first playthrough, I'm just kind of going blindly, and then in the next playthroughs, I just, uh, fully go for the trophies once I know what I'm doing basically but I still haven't completed the game yet I don't know what the ending is or anything like that so we're just uh we're gonna roll with whatever the fuck happens in the first one you know <laughs> Roller Ricky survived the Whistling Man Jason Parker survived the Whistling Man Teddy Gallows Jr. survived the Whistling Man how many like how many people do we have to save holy crap i'm starting to think that that trophy we're saving everybody is actually going to be a little bit harder than what i thought it was going to be how many people okay peggy weaver survived the whistling man that's that's my that's my girl in the studio first nash survived the whistling man that's me Okay, fuck, I can die. Good to know. Maybe, I'm kind of, I'm kind of giving myself spoilers, but it's fine, because, you know, at the same time, it's not spoilers, because I, I still don't know what's going to happen, you know, I don't know how it's going to happen. Let there be light. Restore the power to the station after the blackout. I feel like that might not be admissible. I feel like that might just be something that you have to do either way. Let me in, gain access to the station after being locked out. I feel like that's also just something that happens through playing the game. Disc jockey, play all records during the course of the night. Okay, well, I might be able to actually do that one right now. I'll just go through all. <laughs> just just switch through all the bloody, like, records, you know? Co collect all hidden records around the station. Oh, okay, fuck. Never mind. 
Master of unlocking. Unlock all the doors in the station. That's also admissible, I feel like. Play a sound on the soundboard during a call. <laughs> oh, fuck. Okay, I can, I can do that one. I can do that one pretty soon. The next time I get a call, just, just fucking use the soundboard. Alright, got it. Place the mannequin head into the fridge. What the fuck? Okay, that one also sounds like a missable. I don't even know what that is, but you know, we'll see. Play all radio ads during the course of the night and then finish the game in under four hours with all callers surviving. Okay, alright. That's a very rare trophy. Gold. 9.1% of players have earned this trophy. You no, know that's not too bad. It's not too bad. Um, okay, so I've looked through the trophies. That's all my trophies. Most of the trophies are rare or common. The only ones that are very rare is the Platinum, obviously. Nobody survives, which gives me hope, you know. If if nobody survives, if the nobody survives trophy is a very rare trophy, then that means it's, it's, hard, to, it's hard to kill everybody. <laughs> so, <laughs> that one's a very rare, and uh, finish the game in under four hours with all callers surviving. I feel like that's the hardest trophy, if I could uh, pick from one. Finish the game in under four hours with all callers surviving, I, f I feel like that one's going to be the hardest one. But otherwise, the, there's a couple missables in there, which I might have to look up. But otherwise, I think they're just ones that you get by just playing the game, you know? I'm gonna just keep playing the game. I'm gonna stop wasting your time now, but I like to go through the trophies before we start, you know? You guys, you guys already know that. I always read out the trophies that I that I have. So, uh, yeah. They're the trophies that we have, and... Okay, Forrest, shut the music off. No. Alright, now that I've read through every single trophy that I had left to do in this video, I went on and I just played the game. My plan was basically just to play the game for the first time because I hadn't played it or finished it before. And whatever happened in that first playthrough was what I was going to go off. I didn't really want to stress to get too many trophies in the first playthrough. I just wanted to enjoy the game and enjoy the story because I hadn't finished it yet. And then once I had finished the game, once I knew what I was doing, once I knew what was going to happen at the end, I was then going to go and fully grind for all those trophies that I had. But I was still going to try my best to get the ones along the way. Obviously, I wanted some people to survive to get those trophies. But also, I wanted people to survive because that's just part of the game. So that got those trophies out of the way pretty early on and then I went on to the missable trophies and the more harder trophies to get after I already had played the game once. Maybe Leslie was right. Maybe we can handle this 911 business. That's the spirit forest. I think you're Hopefully right. I'm better at being Though, a 911 say, operator I, than I am at throwing uh, a fucking piece of paper really through a fucking net. Anyway. He was a serial killer back in the 50s. Edward Marshall Looney. Went around in a freaky mask, whistling about a dozen folks in Bellows Creek. No one's important. No motive. Just... Oh shit, fuck, my bad. I wasn't listening. First trophy that I got after I stopped vibing along to the music in the game was to save Maurice. And it was a pretty good feeling knowing that I hadn't killed anybody yet. Do you think the killer can hear this? <laughs> we know the plan. You can trust us. Here we go. All right, let's do this. I'm not going to do it because he said it would take him a while to get into the closet. I think it should be safe now, Forrest. That's it. No more hiding. I'm a tough old man. I've been on the beat longer than you've been alive. Come on down, whistling man. Come and get a knuckle sandwich. Did we get him? Listeners, this is Forrest Nash of 189.16, The Scream. And if you've just tuned in, We just locked up the Whistling Man. Forrest, you beautiful bastard! Killer tunes. Trophy and let's go. Maurice Russell survived the Whistling Man. Now that I fortunately saved Maurice, I only had like 
one million other people to save, which was fantastic. Nice. New music to play. Yay! Found a collectible. The next caller that I had to save for a trophy was Virginia. Eddie? So you saved them or we sure Yes did. we did. You're in safe hands. Okay. Okay. We're gonna help you. Can you tell me your name, caller? I'm Dr. Sullivan of Virginia. Virginia! Sorry. Take some deep breaths, Virginia. Fuck. You're gonna be okay. Please I'm don't not let confident. Me die. I'm not confident in myself. I'm down. sorry, tell Virginia. After having a midlife crisis and questioning all of my decisions that I've made throughout my entire life and whether I could save Virginia or not, I finally snapped out of it and save Virginia, got the trophy, and you know what? The way that I had to save Virginia was by calling the dickhead that we call Ponty. So enjoy that. It was... it was fucking great. Ponty's Pizza is on the line. Ponty's Pizza? Ponty's Pizza! May I take your order? Garlic bread. Garlic bread? Oh, I need the bread! Can do! <laughs> Where do you want that delivered? Uh, same place as before, you know, the frat house. Your guess is as good as mine. All right, folks. Seems we may have a lead. Somebody order a savior? You know, Turkey on. Nice. The next caller that I had to save was Eugene, and let me tell you, this was one of the harder ones to save because I literally had to guide this guy out of a maze, and uh, it was it was pretty difficult, honestly. It was a little bit overwhelming because I didn't know how I was gonna do it, but uh, I got there in the end. Lucky I was good at mazes when I was a kid. Go left. Eugene, we're gonna get you out of here, okay? And then you and Molly are gonna live happily ever after. Go right. You got this, Eugene. Go right. You got this, Eugene. Yeah, I was quiet for most of that time because I was concentrating so much on how the heck I was going to get this guy out of the maze and I honestly thought that I would fail and it was it was stressful. I didn't know if I was doing the right thing. I didn't really know my bearings at certain points, but you know what? I somehow managed to get him out alive and I was pretty happy about it, but I was I was also just really glad that it was over because it was very intense. <laughs> I think you're right. By the way, why Child of the corn maze, trophy on. Okay? Unfortunately for Eugene, I the next call that I had to save was Murphy, and this one was pretty easy compared to the last one, to be honest. About the only part that was hard about this caller was choosing which one of Peggy's friends to send out to save him. But that was about the only difficult part, which that wasn't too difficult. So this one was nice and chill, nice and relaxed compared to the last one. <laughs> container fuck I found him nice let's hold us it's coming down you're lucky to have a fucking brave friend peggy like not everybody would have done that respect Catherine, honestly and Murphy. He was a little bit stupid to get himself into that situation, but you know, respect. We made it! Nice! Oh man. You saved my life. Hey, Peggy celebrating. Thank you. Thank you. Thank and Catherine. She's brave as fuck, you. like holy now, shit. Back from Master Robin. Hey. <laughs> You just get home to For yourself, Fernando, okay? trophy on. Nice. 
And the next caller that I had to save was Carrie and her friend, which was another stressful one because I had to give them all roles depending on what they could do and just hope that the plan didn't fail and hope that I didn't pick the wrong people. But I did pretty good because I had this little sheet of paper with me to tell me who would be the best for each role and everything went uh, pretty good, except for Jimmy. Rip Jimmy. You fucking idiot. Jimmy, everyone, it's really not safe to be out. Please, go home. And waste whistling night? <laughs> no way. That little idiot. Whistling night? It's a stupid tradition. Especially stupid since that one kid died back in. <sighs> Would you take off that stupid mask if it's hard to breathe? Who's under there anyway? Hmm? Is that you, Seth? Idiot! Seth is right next to you. That's uh. <laughs> Great job, Jimmy. Uh, now you're all gonna die. Hey. Oh no. Who, uh. Who are you? Oh no, I'm dead! <laughs> oh. <laughs> Rip, Jimmy. We got this. Nobody's died yet. Nobody's died yet. Don't get these kills killed. This kid, this kills killed. Yeah, don't get the kids killed. Fuck. Nice. doing great. Focus. You got this. We got this. Next step. Trap the killer. All right. Wait. Get into position. Because it does. It's coming down. And yes! Oh, Heather! Quick, everyone to the van. Nice! Everyone's Heather, alive? Take the keys. The damn gate swung shut. No. Well, just drive through it. Don't hold it open. Just drive through the gate, you know? What was that? It's the whistling man. Drive! Now! Did they just... Did she get left behind? Let go! Let me go! Go! Just drive! Oh Run God. over him. Did they run over him? They better have. Carrie? I swear, if you left her behind. He just... He just stared at me. Carrie! Carrie? He just stared at me. And walked into the woods. I don't understand. What the fuck? Thank God you're okay. Can you get somewhere safe? They left without her? Oh, for helping. If you, you have a car. It was your plan, Carrie. And it was a great plan. Run over the killer. This one. <laughs> Trophy. Not so stupid teens. Nice. Step. Ain't that right, Max? Oh. Oh. He has a dog. Oh, yes. That's oh, awesome. <laughs> There's something off about this girl, right? Well, at the time of saying that, I didn't know how right I was, but I'm glad that I followed that instinct later on in the game, which you will see. After that call, I had to go and do a couple things in the game, which earned me a couple trophies, so I'm just gonna play those trophies for you guys right now so that you can see them. Bingo. Nice! Trophy earned! Let me in! Hey, fridge horror! Finally! And then I got the trophy, an explosive escape, because I saved Chuck. Okay, I'm dialing. One moment. Hello? 
Chuck Brody, listen, I know this sounds crazy, but we have reason to believe the Whistling Man is coming for you. You need to get yourself and everyone else out right now. The Whistling Man? Who the hell are you? Who is this? This is Boris Nash. Listen, the Whistling Man's back. We found a list with your name on it, and he... Oh, God. It's today. The year I finally let myself forget. I... Forget? Forget what? what? Forget. No, no, man. I gotta get out of here. What the fuck is he on about? I... I think he ran off. Well, fingers crossed that Chuck... Jeez! Ah! It sounds like something blew up! He's using bombs now? I... I... Is Chuck? I don't know. Oh, Peggy, you scared call. the fuck out of me when you screamed like that! Oh, Chuck? Chuck! An explosive escape, no, Sean, God, trophy. God. At this point in the game, I was getting very into the story. I love mystery games where you're solving a mystery or where there's some mystery to uncover. And I was getting so into the game at this point. I had so many theories as to what the mystery was and who the whistling man was and what was really going on in the town. I had so many theories going on and I was just really, really enjoying the game. But I'll spare you guys my rambling to all my theories and thoughts of what was going on in the game because this is a trophy hunting video and not a playthrough video. So I will spare you guys all of that. But I got a couple more trophies after this for saving people and just doing things in the game. Right, so uh, trophy hunt from beyond the grave. Uncovered, uncovered Clive's research. Now remember when I said earlier that I thought there was something off about Dawn and that me following those instincts would be good later on? Well, it is now later on. When my character was speaking to Dawn, I just had this very bad feeling. She just seemed off compared to all the other callers. There was just something weird about her. And I had a very bad feeling and I suspected her to be either the whistling man or a friend of the whistling man. So when she told me that she was locked out of her apartment, I didn't necessarily believe her. But the cherry on top of the cake was the fact that I heard a dog barking in the background and if you remember earlier, we got a call from a very cute dog and its owner. So that just added more suspicion onto what I already suspected. Plus, when she told me the name of the security system, I remembered that Ricky had told me he was getting that same security system installed. So alarm bells were very much going off, and uh... So I made a decision that I wasn't 100% sure that it was right, but I was at least 90% sure that it was right. The code is 191. Five, one, nine. Thank you, Forrest. Yeah, stay out! Nobody disrespect the sanctity of the ring! Don't ever come back here again! Oh. I'm calling the cops! Thank God. Hello? Is someone there? It's the dog from before! I thought it might have been. Radio. Whoever that was, she was trying to break into the ring. She? Forrest, man, you got no idea. That was him! That was the whistling man! The alarm gave me just enough time to get my rifle. I don't like hurting folks, but I can't let anything happen to Maxie. He's my best friend, you know? I... Listen, man, I'm heading back inside. You gonna barricade that window? My man, thank you. You and Peggy can skate for free whenever you want, forever. That's a done deal. I... Thanks, Ricky. Can't wait. I, I, I thought I heard the dog barking. I was like, wait, hold on. <laughs> Roller Ricky survived the whistling man. Awesome. I knew there was something sus about her, you know? Like, fuck. I'm gonna skip ahead just a little bit here because we're 24 minutes into the video and I'm still only on the first playthrough that I did. <laughs> Currently, as of editing this, I've been editing for about three hours, a little bit over that, but uh... Let's, uh, let's speed it up just a little bit because we're still only on my first playthrough of the game and I have about another two to three playthroughs after this. I can't remember quite how many times I played the game, but uh, it was definitely more than once, so let's get a move on a bit. The next trophy that I got was Master of Unlocking, which was get every key to the building or something like that. I can't remember the description of it, but it was get every key in the game, basically. It's, uh, you just get it by playing, basically. 
Oh, trophy earned. And look at all the doors in the station. Okay, nice. The next trophy after that that I got was to save Jason, which was pretty easy. Basically, all you have to do is talk his friend Casey through how to treat him medically until you can get one of your colleagues over there to help. The only hard part about that would be picking which colleague to send over, but uh, even that part was pretty easy because it was kind of obvious on who to pick. So yeah, that uh, that was another trophy down. Morris. Damn, hey. Then we found out that not only does Jason know Roll Ricky, but he also knows who the Whistling Man is. But right as he was about to tell us her real name, because obviously Dawn isn't it, the power goes out, which which was fantastic. It was great. I loved it. Her name was What happened? Are we still on air? After that happened, I got a trophy for turning the power back on, plus I got a bunch of trophies just for completing the game, so I'm just gonna play those for you guys. There we go. Let there be light. Oh no. We're here. Anyway. What the fuck are you doing? That about wraps up the interview with Teddy. Trophy in. God, Marie! Hey! Zara! Can I... And the missile... the scream. Forrest survived the whistling man. Forest survived the whistling man. Wait, how could have I died there? The end? Question mark? So yeah, I got a bunch of trophies when I ended the game and I didn't even read them all out fully because they were just all popping at once and I couldn't see them all on my screen so I didn't actually read them all out. But for those of you who might want to see it, this is also just my reaction to the end of the game. So yeah, this was me completing it for the first time. Oh shit! Where's Peggy? I thought we'd end tonight's whistling man special with a special guest, Junior. Wait. Wait so who's in front of me? Teddy. Your daddy and his money saved you twenty years ago. There's two of them? Marie Campbell. So not Don, huh? No. Not Don. What are well, you we figured that that was a fake name. Everyone's gonna know now what Teddy did. Okay, but where is Peggy? Listen to me. You uh, as, as sad as it is that she's killing people, like it's also sad that the love of her life got killed for a stupid prank, you know? Especially when they had a kid together, you know? It, it's sad. Peggy. Peggy. You've got to help me. I. Quiet. You'll talk more later. Wait, where the fuck did Peggy go? How did she get over there? And here I was, thinking you'd forgot me. She knows her? forget my own sister. What the fuck? Sister? I'm so sorry. I never knew. It's not your fault. Really, it's mom and dad I should be seeing right now. But since they're dead and gone, well... I'll have to settle for the next best thing. Shit. You forgot. Marie, Peggy never forgot about you. Keep your mouth shut. She kept a card from you. She she kept it here on her desk. What card? The card you made me for my eighth birthday. I was just reading that. What does it say then? Happy birthday, Peg. Now you're great and eight. Love, M. I... Tell us who's this is. Peggy survived the whistling man. Where's Marie? She bolted right as we got here. The police are right on her heels. It won't be long now. It's over, Forrest. <sighs> well, folks, it was a long night, but we made it through together. I'm gonna head off to go check on Peggy. This is Ben, Forrest Nash.
What the fuck just happened? <laughs> now with the game complete and me knowing what was gonna happen, now I could fully focus on all the trophies that I had left. Because I was lucky enough to keep everybody alive in my first playthrough, I got all of those trophies for saving the callers. So the only new trophies that I really had left to do was to collect all of the missing vinyl records, play all of the vinyl records in one night, and play all of the sponsor tapes in one night. And then of course I had to kill all of the callers, unfortunately, and I also had to complete the game in four hours or under with all callers surviving, which was the trophy that I was now going to focus on. You know, this, in this encounter at the very start with the whistling man, this might have been Clive coming into work and that's how Clive died. You, uh, you hear something, Peggy? Huh? Hear what? I thought I heard someone yelling or, I don't know, how? Forrest, is this a joke? No, I, I almost swore I heard something. Oh, and here I was thinking you'd finally started to ease up. You probably just heard some cats outside. See, cats. you know, four and Forrest, and Forrest heard like a screaming or a howling. That was Clive at the beginning. That was how Clive died, right? Well, yeah, after that clip, I basically just rushed through the game as quick as I possibly could so that I could get it done in four hours or under. So I didn't actually clip that much of this playthrough because you guys already saw it in the last playthrough. It's basically the exact same things. I made the same choices and uh, I just did it quicker. That was basically the difference. <laughs> and I ended up getting the trophy, which was very good. Another thing that I did was right before I entered the end part of the game. So there's a part at the end of the game where Peggy says I need to take a break just press the button when you're ready to start again and it's right before the end part of the game so what I actually did was I just made a save point there and then I went and completed the game to get the under four hours with all callers surviving trophy but then once I had completed that I then went back to that save that I had made right before the end of the game so that I could explore around the building to try and find all of those missing vinyl records, play all the vinyl records, and play all of the sponsor tapes to get those trophies. Yes, Forest Ash, trophy owned. Up there. Okay. There we go. Nice. New music to trophy play. Trophy owned. Complete disc dis discography. Collect all hidden records around the station. So there was only four, one was story related for uh, the kill up. <laughs> and then now I need to go and play all of those. And then it's just a word from our sponsors, which I think I already have all of those. I think I just can just play them all at once, which I thought I already did that earlier, but apparently I didn't. So I'm gonna just do it again. Trophy, disc jockey, there we go. I didn't even have to play all of them. Nice, right there. Come on, trophy, please. Yes, trophy. Finally. I didn't see that tape there and I missed- Now that I got those trophies done, I could finally start the game again, but this time get the trophy where nobody survives. And uh, I had a little bit too much fun with this one to begin with. Baton, pepper spray, and taser. I can only hold one if I'm carrying The baton Martinez. would be the worst option Which right, I maybe? Take? I take the baton. You can always trust a beating stick. Got it. I'm just going to grab Deputy yeah, Martinez. Yeah, the baton is the, the the worst one to take. <laughs> like Leslie, what's happening? The whistling. No, get off her, you son of a bitch! Get off of her. Get. Stay. No, let go of it. No. Well, that went great. We already got somebody killed. <laughs> you heard it here. Hit the steering wheel with the hammer really well it seems pretty dumb but if you say yeah, so I'll do it 100 percent. oh my god he's looking at the car now Come on, tell me <laughs> Fuck. i'm sorry sandra <laughs> oh you are gonna die strip the brown and green wires and twist them together let's get some results Bye, Sandra.
Well, uh, let's just hope she is jazz flying <laughs> up to heaven. Forest? It's under my desk. I'm gonna go for my first thing. I think that when that quick time event comes up, if I speak too soon, because he says right there, ca big cabinet, but it'll take me a second to get into it. So I think if I talk too soon, it'll get him killed. That's where the kill is going. I could try the cubicles, but they're pretty far. I'm gonna do everything like I usually do, but just talk too soon. Kept me alive so far, Nash. Hide in your cabinet. In your cabinet. All right. Well, this is it. I'm going to go turn the radio up to full blast now. Yep, and I'm going to speak too don't soon and get you killed. Don't say anything until I've had time to hide. Got it? We know I the will. plan. You can trust us. You can't Here trust me. <laughs> Sorry, Maurice. I'm hoping this works. Hey, whistling man! Jackass! Forrest, I don't think that was enough time for him to yep, hide! There we go. Wait, really? Oh, shit. <laughs> Forrest Dash! You son of a bitch! I told you to. Oh, 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 oh. Forrest, yep. he's. He's. Out of print. <sighs> Call Grilling Spray. Okay. The Grill Reaper is on the line. You're through to Grilling Spree. We've got barbecue you'll die for. Hey, dude. What's going on? Uh, can I just have your order? I want ribs. Big ribs. For my frat house, brothers. Right. And where'd you want that delivered? Uh, same place as before, you know. The frat house. Same address? All right. Get it to you soon. Oh, and, and one more thing. Can you add a note to the order that says to call KFAM? A note? Okay. You better tip for this. Hello, caller. You're live on the stream with me, Forrest Nash. Uh, this is Dudley from the Brotherly Fraternity of Engineers. Uh, I have a note to call you. Hey, weird question. Uh, but you aren't the only ones on your street tonight, are you? No, sir. Uh, I think everyone on the street is in tonight. Uh, yeppers. Uh, I just visually confirmed it. Uh, I see cars in the driveways, and a couple of lights on. Uh, everyone's in, yeah. Oh. And you've not been throwing a loud party all night, have you? I certainly hope we haven't disturbed our neighbors. Uh, why do you ask, sir? Forrest, we have a new call coming in. Forest, line two. Hello, you're live on 189.16, The Stream. Forrest, it's the whistling man. He's at the door. He's... Oh, my God. It's you, isn't it? Sorry, Virginia. I, I didn't talk. On air. <sighs> I'm lost, Forrest. I just ran, and I, I don't know where I am. I'm at a crossroad, facing a tractor statue. There are hay bales painted gold on my right. Go backwards. Okay, here I go. This, uh, uh doesn't look right. Uh, no, no, I I'm going back to where I was. Jesus! Oh, shit! He's cutting through the walls! Where do I go? Go right! Okay! I'm going! Please! No! You don't have to do this! Bye, Eugene. I think I'm gonna be sick. Call the old Jericho. guy. Alright, give me a second. Uh, old man Jericho wasn't fast enough. I don't know why I even mentioned him. But I did. The plant burned down. It collapsed. So Murphy is... Poor Fernando is gonna be crushed. On his birthday? Oh, fuck. <laughs> his father died a hero. I'm sorry, just Fernando. just trying to protect the town. God, hurry up, Oh my god! <sighs> Whoa. Wonderful. There he is. He's buying it. 
Okay, the acting is the same. Yeah, he still leaves her. He just stared at me. Or Carrie, she. Carrie, I don't know which one. He just stared at me and got my leg out. Oh, he helped her. I don't understand. Damn. Thank God you're okay. Can you get somewhere safe? Yeah. Wait, but I still don't understand why the killer doesn't help. kill Carrie. Like, what is different Thank about you Carrie? All for I'm sorry about your friends, Carrie. Thanks. I need to get home. My Please, plan Carrie. was so terrible. You're okay now. But yeah, Carrie survived out of the way. So why? Talk to you then. Why does Carrie survive? Because she's not responsible? Folks, that was a... Uh, that was a lot. Our thoughts go out to the parents whose kids... Well, maybe right, maybe because Carrie's not responsible and her parents in. aren't responsible. <laughs> I'm sorry. The code is 715-914. Thank you, Forrest. No. <laughs> Forrest, what did we do? Let's just see what happens. Forrest, there's another call coming in. Evening, caller. You're live on... Forest. No. Come back. No. I can't find my rifle, man. It's. I don't want to hurt anybody, but I can't let anything happen to. Maxie! No, Maxie! Creek. Here's some music. I don't care about. I don't care quick. about Ricky. I care Just about the dog. <laughs> Why would you do this? I fucking hate it when people bring dogs into horror movies and horror games. The dog always dies. Although this time it was my fault, and I'm fucking sad. Why? I better put a record on. Why? Why did you have to make me do that? <sighs> it was for a trophy. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna get the platinum trophy. At least I got the good ending first, okay? But I hate that I had to do that. That was fucking Dead Why? Is a crime, Boris. Shut the fuck up, Peggy. I need a moment. A dog just died, okay? I need help Yes. You should take the knife yeah, out. That has to be incredibly painful. We should definitely get it out of it. Yep. Right. Definitely. Here goes. Jason. <laughs> Fuck. Just hold on. Wait, I was reading my notes. Did you say pull the knife out? Brad's our best option. He lives on Axdown Lane. His number is 542-4298. Brad? Ugh. Forrest. Brad? Are you sure there's nobody else we can call? Yep, Look, definitely. I know you aren't Brad's biggest fan, but this isn't about you or Brad. It's about what's best for Jason. Fine. You're right. I just need to remember this is for Jason and Casey. Jason and Casey. Peggy? Yeah, I know. Calling now. Bradley. It's Peggy. <laughs> Bradley. Something happened and I need you. No. 
Is that you? Are you all right? Forrest, it's Jason. What about Jason? Is he okay? He... He's gone. Oh, Jason. Considered having you help me blow this whole thing wide open, but... You didn't really sell yourself too well tonight. Oh, shit. No, wait. I, I can still help you. No, oh, thanks. Me and Henry can help Oh, it's because I saved nobody. Honey, he's all yours. Hey. Oh fuck! Hey. Back off! Don't come any closer. Don't worry. I'll let Peggy know you asked about her before I send her your way. Hey, buddy, we can talk about this. So if I don't save all the people, she doesn't want my help. And then because I can't tell her about the card that Peggy kept. Peggy dies, and I can't expose the location to the cops no, because I die. Fuck. Damn. Killer frequency trophy hunt. <laughs> Nobody survives the whistling now. So the five platinum, platinum trophy. <laughs> Fuck. Let's go. <laughs> well, everybody, that was the video. If you guys did enjoy this video, please be sure to leave a like and also consider subscribing because your support means the absolute world to me. If you want to see more trophy hunting videos like this, then be sure to leave your suggestions to games that you would like to see me get the platinum trophy on down in the comment section below. And if you have any game suggestions that you'd just like me to play regularly, then also leave those down in the comment section below because I will see them. I'll leave my Twitter and my Instagram in the description where I post teasers to my videos before they come out. And anyways, everybody, I hope you're all having a wonderfully blessed day, night, morning, or arvo, wherever you are. Hope you're having a good one. And I'll see you all in my next video. See ya. Can I mop the floor? How the fuck is that? This isn't even a mop, and I said mop. <laughs> There's a broom. Damn. Gravity. Oh, it's a killer frequency! I don't want to do it or something. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs>